guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing part two of my car freshies. So if you're watching this, I hope you've already seen part one of how I make these car freshies. If not, I'll go ahead and put a link on the screen somewhere. This is going to be a more in-depth video on how I decorate my car freshies. So I've gotten a couple of requests to do a more in-depth video on how I decorate my car freshies, along with some comments with questions on specific supplies that I use. So I wanna show you guys what I use and how I decorate them. So if you're interested in seeing how I do that, keep watching. So whenever I am decorating my car freshies, I use a variety of supplies. So I'm gonna show you just the basic stuff that I typically use to decorate my car freshies. So I like to use feathers, little pom-poms, different sizes of ribbon with different patterns on them, some little fake flowers. But my favorite and easiest supply that I use is fabric paint, just because you can do so much with it and it's very little effort. Um, you can use any brand of the fabric paint. I typically buy the Tulip brand solely because at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. Sometimes they have the Tulip brand 30 or 40% off, or I can use my 40 or 50% off coupon to get it a little bit cheaper. But you can get these on Amazon for like these big bottles, or you can also get them in the smaller bottles. They have them in a variety of packs with different colors. So I definitely recommend fabric paint for sure. Super easy ways to decorate your car freshies. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that now. So I'm going to be showing you five different ways that you can decorate your car freshies. The first one I'm going to show you is my favorite way that I like to decorate mine because it's super quick and easy. I tend to use the Tulip brand of this puffy fabric paint because you can find it on sale at a lot of craft stores or you can use coupons for it. But just be aware that you do have to let it set overnight to dry. And I just did leopard print because I'm obsessed with leopard print. So that's the first one, super easy. So the second one I'm going to show you is just as easy. I'm just using some cute printed ribbon and a flower to make a flower headband for this cow head car freshie. So I'm just trimming down the ribbon. You can tie it all the way around, but it just doesn't fit very well. So I'm just trimming it down so that it's just on the front. And then I'm just gonna take some hot glue and do a line where the ribbon's going to go, and then I'm just gonna smear it so that it is the same width as the ribbon. So I place it on my car freshie, and then I just use my scissors to press it down. Then I'm gonna do a tiny little dot and cut the tip of my flower off so that it is flat on the bottom side and it's not sticking up, and then just put it on that little dab of glue and press it down. How adorable is that? So for the third one, it's pretty simple as well. I just used a little scalloped edge white ribbon that I had and I'm just gluing it down and then I just do a thin line where I want these little pom-poms. So the next one, I'm doing a bullhead car freshie and I'm gonna be doing a flower crown with these small flowers. So again, I'm just trimming off the bottom so that they are flat and they don't stick up as much. And then I'm gonna just do a thin line of hot glue. And then I'm just gonna take my flowers and push them into the hot glue, just where I want them. Just kinda of press them down a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna trim off some of the petals so they're not overlapping each other so much. Just a little bit. And there you have it. So the final one I'm gonna show you it's probably the hardest one, but it is not hard at all. I'm just gonna take a dab of glue, put it on the side of this Arrowhead Car Freshie, and I'm gonna take my little twine ribbon that I have, and I'm just gonna wrap it around so it looks kind of like a realistic Arrowhead. And then do another dab of glue on the other side to secure it down. And you can either stick your feathers in and glue them there, but I like to hang mine down just because I think it's a little bit cuter. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue right underneath the edge of my string and insert another piece of string where I'm going to add the feathers to. So I'm just pressing that down to secure it in. 
and then I'm gonna add a little dab of glue and just set my feathers on that dab of glue place them where I want them and then just press them down so that they are secured on there and then I'm gonna take another dab of glue and put it on top of those feathers and then wrap the string around the feathers so that it kind of looks like they are tied on there and then I'm gonna put another dot on my arrowhead so that the feathers aren't moving around you can leave them but I just like to put them on there so they're facing the right way and it looks super cute so there you have it there's all five car pressures that we just decorated I love this part because you can get creative and decorate them however you want all right guys so I hope you learned how to decorate your car pressures if you have any questions just drop a comment below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other crafting tutorials.